result column is even. This is the result column. When the numbers are stacked up this way, with the least significant digit starting here. So this would be the units position, then the tens, then the, and the hundreds, the thousands, and so on going up. We started the neural knot and go up. The bottom five are doing another equation at the same time. We're doing the, a fifth order polynomial from the, up here at the top, and it turns out to be this polynomial. 9x to the fifth plus 5x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 7x squared plus 4x plus 41. Now, would you like to do that one by hand, by yourself, by hand? I don't think so. But you could at least do the first seven by hand and get a table. And then using the table, you can compute it on and on and on forever. Okay? So, what we put into the machine are the numbers from the difference table for this in the top ranks, above from the neural nut on up. On the bottom, we have a very simple equation called <clears throat> result equals x. So when x equals 0, the result is 0. When x equals 1, the result is 1. When x equals 2, the result is 2, okay, for consecutive values of x. And what's the difference? Well, 0 from 1 is 1. 1 from 2 is 1. 2 from 3 is 1, and so on. The difference is 1, a constant. And there's nothing, everything else to the right is 0. So we have a 1 in this column that keeps adding to this and getting reset, and adding to this and getting reset, okay? So we just keep what x is down here? We keep track of x. So we know for x what the result is. It's matched. Now how does it work? Well, the odd column counts down to zero. It's a destructive read. So if we look at the first column that has a number in it, this is the number of column right here. It has 1,080. Let's give them a two result teaser. All right, sure. Okay. I'd love to try. <coughs> so watch, watch this a little bit. That's the add. This is the reset. That's the odd, and that's the reset of the evens. So there's the odd, the odd reset, the even, and the even reset. Now what do, I, what, you know, what do I mean by that? Well, when the odd column counts down to zero, this gear in between transmits the value that's being turned as it counts down through the gear in the middle to the other column next to it. And so that column counts up. Now you might say to yourself, well, how is that possible? Well, the odd column has the numbers on the number wheels that go around in a counterclockwise direction. In order to count them down, you turn the gear counterclockwise. And when you do that, something like the 8 gear will go 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And as it turns counterclockwise, the gear in between will turn out 8 positions in a clockwise direction. It's engaged to the even gear, which turns counterclockwise and turns eight positions. But when the even turns eight positions, its numbers are on here in a clockwise. Turning them counterclockwise causes it to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It counts up. So the odd counts down, the even counts up, because the numbers are on the wheels in the opposite directions. Now this even is hooked up to another odd. That's a clockwise turning number hooked up to a counterclockwise turning number. And now we simply count down the evens, okay, and count up the odds. So the process repeats itself, okay, for the opposite direction. Now you might say to yourself, okay, well I'm all done counting down and I've added it to the even column. How do I get the value back to being what it was? And the answer is this gear lifts up so that one side is engaged with the counting down side, the odds, and disengages from the even. And then the gear in between gets set back to its zero point. So if it counted out eight positions, it goes back eight positions, and it turns the gear back in a clockwise direction, it counts it back up. So it originally counts down, and then it gets counted back up, it gets reset, okay? Now, how is it able to do that? Well, it turns out these gears are set up so that they're double thick on one side and single thick on the other. So when they're down touching at the bottom, they're hooked up between the two. But when they go up a little bit, the even side is no longer touching the even gear, but it's still touching the odd gear, and the odd gear will simply get reset. And then it moves up again. And when it moves up again, it's not touching either side. It disengages completely. 
because during that part of the cycle, we're doing the same thing between the even and the odd next door. The gets gear drops down, adds from one gear to the next, moves up a level, and resets the even, and then moves up again. So it's disengaged, so we can go back to doing the odds again. So a complete cycle is odd is added to even, even odd is reset, disengage. The other side does even is added to odd, even is reset, disengage, and back and forth we go. And you can watch that with these two levers. These two levers will go three positions, and just as they get to the top on one side, the other side drops down. It's like walking feet. Okay? Now let's do some more turn. All right. And you'll see it now. Watch, watch, watch those levers down there. about eight seconds to compute one new value. Now, the question that, of course, immediately arises in your head is, why? Why are we doing this? <laughs> What's it for? Well, the answer turns out to be on this piece of paper, on this sheet of paper, logarithm tables, sine tables, cosine tables, you name it. And we have to go back now to the history of what brought us to the record to the realization that this machine was required at some point in time. 